Hi, this is Lara for Elliott Wave Stock Market with your weekly analysis for gold done on Thursday 13th of June after Wednesday the 12th has ended. I'm recording this video, it's now Thursday the 13th, nearly 3am New York time. At the daily chart level, the wave count remains pretty much the same. I expect we've had the end of a fourth wave correction last week and we've just started a final fifth wave down. The target's now widened to a small zone. And I'm expecting that this target may be maybe up to six weeks away if this final fifth wave is equal in duration to the first. The bigger picture still sees gold in a downwards trend, a big zigzag at super cycle sorry, at cycle degree for a fourth wave, and it's in the C wave at primary degree, which is unfolding as a five wave impulse and has the end of intermediate one and two here. Intermediate wave 3 within primary C is not over, and we're in the final fifth wave down of it. At 1232, intermediate wave 3 would reach 4.236, the length of intermediate wave 1, and now at 1216, minor wave 5 would reach 1.618, the length of minor wave 1. The fourth wave is extremely likely to be over. It's a rare triple zigzag of considered various possibilities for this upwards movement. This is the only labelling I can find which fits all the subdivisions. Because three is the maximum number of corrective structures within a multiple, once the third structure is over, that indicates that the whole correction itself must be over. It can't continue further so I'm not expecting movement above 1423.91. Let's have a look at the end of this on the hourly chart. We're this high up here, is this point up here. Last analysis was about here. I expected a bit more downwards movement to complete a triangle for the second X wave in the double labelled minute X. That's exactly what happened and the E wave has ever so slightly overshot the AC trend line, which is really typical. And then I expected a sharp upwards thrust, that's what we got. Although it was a lot shorter than expected, I hoped that minor 4 may end about 1475. It didn't get close to that point, but we did have a three wave structure complete here. After that we have a nice clear 5 down. Once this trend channel, which I've copied over here from the daily chart, was clearly breached with downwards movement, that was our indication that minor 4 was over, minor 5 was then underway. This is a nice clear 5 down and there are great Fibonacci ratios in here. Subminuet wave 3 is close to 2.618, the length of subminuet wave 1. And the fifth wave is close to 1.618, the length of the first wave. After that, we have some upwards movement, which so far to this high subdivides very clearly as a five wave structure. So minuet wave 2 can't be over here, that's just sub minuet wave A within probably a zigzag for minuet 2. Within a zigzag, the B wave may not move beyond the start of the A wave, so for the next couple of days or so, the short term invalidation point is at 1365.91. As soon as you can see a 535 up complete, the short term invalidation point should be removed, it no longer applies, and look out for a trend change to the downside. At this stage, I'll expect Minuet Wave 2 may end about the 0.618 Fibonacci ratio of Minuet Wave 1 down, which is at 1401.75. If it got higher than the 0.618 Fibonacci ratio, I'd expect it may find resistance around the lower edge of this channel, which previously provided some support. I'll be looking out for this second wave correction to be over maybe in two or three days, and I'm expecting a trend change sometime during this week and some strong downwards movement. The next movement downwards is a third way, so we should see some increase in downwards momentum. That's all for me today with your gold analysis. And I hope everyone had a fabulous week.